welcome to the kitchen at the house of yum my name is serene herrera and i am here to share my love of texas food with all of you so today i'm sharing a classic tex-mex enchiladas what i'm going to show you today is how to prepare the tortillas to give you the best enchiladas no matter what filling you're using today i'm going to make the enchiladas using cheese i love to use the monterey jack cheese in my enchiladas However, you could use any cheese that you would like. And if you would prefer to do a meat filling, I'm also going to share with you some of my favorite recipes for the fillings. There's shredded chicken, shredded beef, shredded pork recipes. I'm going to link to those also for you. What I love about enchiladas is it's so easy to make a large batch, so they're great for a large family or if you wanna make an extra tray to share with somebody else. So, first thing, is I'm going to show you guys how I prepare the corn tortillas. I always use just regular white corn tortillas. These are my favorite ones to use. So I'm gonna show you how to prepare these. We're gonna go to the stove top and we're going to give these just a quick fry. So to prepare the tortillas, I'm heating the skillet over low to a medium low heat. I'm going to add in some vegetable oil, about a quarter cup. And I wanna heat this oil so that when I add my tortillas in, they're gonna sizzle. So we have all of our fried corn tortillas. Frying them briefly in the oil warms up the tortillas. It makes them super flexible. They're gonna be easy to roll up. They're not going to break. Plus it brings out that corn flavor of the tortillas, which is going to make the enchiladas taste so much better. So briefly fry, not to make them crispy, like if you were gonna make a taco, just enough to warm them up, about 10 seconds per side, and then they're really bendy and hot. Okay, so now I'm going to get my cheese. One, one second. I can hear water in the handle of my cheese grater. Okay, now comes the time where I get to make a big mess. Okay, so if I were making this at the stove and I had it in my skillet, I would do this at the stove top with the sauce in the skillet but since I'm doing it here in front of all y'all, I'm gonna use just this brush, which I still make a mess. But to start, <laughs> I'm going to put some of this sauce inside of my three-quart baking dish that I'm using, just enough to coat the bottom. And I'm going to just brush it around, make sure I coat the whole bottom of my tray. Okay, so we're gonna start with the tortillas. Again, if I was at the stove and I had my sauce in a skillet, I would, at this point, dip each of the tortillas, well, one by one, I would dip the tortilla into the sauce and then put the filling and roll it up. But since I'm right here in front of you guys, I have my sauce in a jar, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush it onto my tortilla. And it's gonna be messy either way you do it. It's just how enchiladas go. Okay, and then I'm going to take a small amount of my filling. Again, I'm using just cheese, but you could use whatever you would like to fill your enchiladas. And we're going to give them a little roll. And place it in the baking dish with the seam side down. And that's gonna help it to hold its shape while it bakes. And we're just gonna continue going on about our business. We've already got messy hands. So coat however you wanna coat each of the tortillas and sauce. Add your filling, roll, and into the dish it goes. Last one. I'm telling you, this is just so <laughs> relaxing for me. Making enchiladas. It's one of my all time favorite things to make. Okay, so 
Now my tray is filled with cheesy enchiladas. I got a good mess here, so let's just. Hmm. Okay, so we have a full tray of enchiladas. So now we're gonna take this leftover sauce and we're just gonna drizzle this right over the top of our enchiladas. Ready? And now we get to take our leftover cheese. I don't have too much. I might grate some more. I should grate some more. Everybody loves cheese. Hold on. <laughs> now we're going to take our leftover cheese plus a little extra. Okay. And we're going to sprinkle it right over the top. Okay, so now we look like this. Ooh, sauce. I shouldn't have held that up. Okay, the oven is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna bake this for 10 minutes uncovered. No matter what you use for your filling, your filling's already gonna be cooked. So if it's a meat, all the meats are already pre-cooked. The only thing that we're really doing in the oven is getting the cheese all melted and gooey. Everything else is cooked and the tortillas are still warm from frying them. And so let's go on into the oven. Okay, oh my gosh, they smell so good. The enchiladas are done. And now it's time to dig in. Super cheesy. Okay, so I don't know. I always put a little bit of shredded lettuce and some diced tomato on top of my enchiladas. My husband always says, why are you putting a salad on your enchiladas? Well, you know, because it's good. And I like a little freshness with the, the cheesy enchiladas. I don't know, you don't have to put anything on top of your enchiladas if you don't want, but I highly recommend it. <laughs> These are so good, you guys. This is one of my all-time favorite meals. Whenever I go out to eat with my husband at a restaurant, I always get the enchiladas. So good. And guys, homemade is so much better. Trust me, you definitely wanna try this recipe. 